so much can pass in 50 years. A cowardly lion can brave his fears. The world can turn to royal blue. Some dreams stay dreams, while others come true. One dream that hadn't come to pass, though cloaked in KC pride and class, our chiefs for whom we cheer and chop had failed to reach the mountain's top. The Super Bowl, the game of games, where football's finest make their names. Each time the summit seemed in view, our chiefs would lose by just a few. What's going on? The fans would ask. It's our coach with the best mustache. From underneath that furry lip comes plays that made defenders trip and slip and stumble all around. But right before they'd hit the ground, the other team would find its feet and leave the Chiefs to taste defeat. Then up from Tyler, Texas, came a young gun slinger by the name of Pat Mahomes, to be exact. Now he was KC's quarterback. He flicked the pigskin like horseshoes and rocked and mop of curly cues. With style and grace, he took the helm and left the fenders overwhelmed. A no-look pass, a bomb, a fade. This dude made throws that no one made. Touchdown, Kelsey. Touchdown, Hill. Our Chiefs began to win at will. With Mahomes' arm and Coach Reed's mind, it seemed that this was Casey's time. Then, in their way, stepped Brady's pat. As pesky as a swarm of gnats. Our war with them went back and forth, but the Chiefs, but left the Chiefs one touchdown short. Our boys in red chose not to mope. The road ahead was paved with hope. As if our Chiefs needed more swagger, they went and got the honey badger. So all opponents best beware. The honey badger doesn't care. Four straight wins to start the season. But then, for a long list of reasons, our football team began to lose. And Pat Mahomes was hurt and bruised. Two taped up paws and one bum knee left Chiefs fans longing desperately to see a comeback run and sue, and bring our, our dream back into view. And that's exactly what took place. Mahomes returned with guns ablaze. Each time the Chiefs would get behind, it seemed they simply didn't mind. They fought and fought, and some more, right into Super Bowl 54. So on a cool Miami night, the Chiefs would face their biggest fight. The Niners from San Francisco, the touchdown that just six years ago had stomped on Casey's baseball's dreams, now sought to stomp on our football team. Bosa and his band of beasts were hungry for a QB feast. They nipped at Pat Mahomes' toes, which led to two misguided throws. San Fran picked up the second one and celebrated like they'd won. A party must have seemed in order, ahead by ten in the fourth quarter. But they forgot the kingdom's grit. We fall behind, but never quit. Third and fifteen, ten points down, with San Fran poised to claim the crown. Wasp! Mahomes stepped up and barked the call. That freed the fastest man of all, the cheetah. 
hauled a long bomb in and left the defenders sucking wind. A Kelsey score, a Watkins catch, a D will grab and touchdown stretch. Before San Fran could check the score, they found themselves now down by four. Soon the lead grew to 11. Chiefs fan thought they'd gone to heaven. Frank Clark started to break free and chase down San Fran's Jimmy G, who threw his own misguided toss, which found a Chiefs defender's pause. We could have partied early too, just like the Niners chose to do. But on the sidelines, Mahomes proclaimed, we never quit, finish the game. The San Fran fans all sat in shock as seconds tick-tocked off the clock. Mahomes dropped back and scrambled right and fired the ball into the night. That's when it finally settled in. Chief's kingdom had risen once again. They simply never would give in and and simply willed themselves to win. You'll face tough odds from time to time. You may fall down or fall behind, but fight just like our boys in red and never forget what Pat Mahomes said. When with only seconds still remain, true Mahomes, finish the game. And so, as snow fell gently down upon our freshly crowned hometown, we sang and danced around the Lombardi because you gotta fight for your rights!